Hi friends, happy Thursday. Hey lovey subbies, welcome back to my channel. This is the Sally Hearts Jack 80 Show. Hey guys, hey friends, how are you? Family, YouTube family, how are you doing out there on this beautiful but hot, crazy Thursday? There. <laughs> but other than that, I'm happy and I'm just glad to be able to enjoy this beautiful gift called life. So it is Thursday. You know what that means. It's time for another Throwback Thursday doll review. And today we are getting in our time machines and we are going back to the year of 1997. I was just a nice, adorable 17 year old. <laughs> and one of my favorite films of all time came out. And I'm talking about Anastasia, and this is the beautiful Dream Waltz Anastasia that came out from the fabulous, was manufactured by Galoob Toys, and she is a stunner. Okay, I have some confessing to do. In 1997, when Anastasia came out, I did not see it. I wasn't really... I tried not to be too into it because I was in love with Hercules. Hercules came out the same year. And, you know, me, I was trying not to be a traitor to Disney, even though it doesn't really matter because all anime, there's enough love for all animation in the world, right? So I did not end up seeing this film for, I think I was 21 the first time I saw Anastasia. Can you guys believe it? So I waited quite a few years before I actually sat down and watched it, and it was so beautiful. I love the song Once Upon a December. It's gorgeous. I love the character design for Anastasia. She's really, really beautiful. I definitely recommend the film if you've never seen it before, <laughs> but you probably have because it's been out for a while. And I'm glad that she is a part of Disney. I know she hasn't been officially announced, and she probably never will, but Disney bought 20th Century Fox, which is who released the movie. It was made um, and directed by the fabulous Don Bluth, whom I absolutely love his movies. They're amazing. And remember Rockadoodle? Oh my gosh, I missed that. We needed dolls from Rockadoodle and Thumbelina. Oh my goodness, I love Thumbelina as well. Um, but I always was a fan of the Romanoff Tsar Nicholas's story. Um, and I love the, the idea of Anastasia maybe surviving her family's massacre, which unfortunately she did not. Um, and it's really sad. The story of, you know, the family is sad and how they died is really, really crazy. Um, but I kind of like the idea that, um, you know, it was a fictionalized account of their life. And the idea that maybe Anastasia did survive and she was out there somewhere and then she got re reunited with her family, which her remaining family, which would have been adorable and super, super beautiful. But um, it was fantasy nonetheless. But like I said, it's beautifully drawn. The music is gorgeous. I Actually, it's one of my favorite non-Disney films out there. And I absolutely love it. I don't know why I took so long to watch it. I felt so horrible. So here she is. She comes in her uh, Once Upon a December dream sequence where she goes into her old palace and she has, um, I say it's a dream or like a, a like a daydream of how it used to be, the dances in there. And then she... Um, this dress miraculously appears on her and then she gets to dance with her dad, which is so adorable to me. I love it. Um, she she dances with her dad to this, I mean, with this dress on and it's so cute. She has her crown, her big huge bow in her hair, which I love. And then she has her necklace, her pearl earrings. She did have a pearl ring here, but it fell off. So I will definitely have to get one to put back in there. And then her gown is absolutely stunning. It's nice and full. It's got glitter tulle on the top of this really nice fabric. I love the colors. I love the blue, the baby blue, and then the yellow. And I'm not a huge fan of yellow, but I love this dress on her. And the color really, really works. Anastasia has beautiful red hair and beautiful blue eyes. And, um... She comes, she's posable. She has a swivel waist. Her arms, uh, they kind of move at the elbow. She has this um, 
this joint that kind of twists, but it doesn't go like this or anything like that. Um, and she also has a bracelet. There you go. She's wearing her shoes, which is amazing. Um, and she doesn't have an underoos. Ah, your Royal Highness, where's your underoos, girl? That's okay. We'll get you some. Um, but another cool thing about this doll that I love um, was that I found her at a thrift store on a family vacation recently. And I love that. I love that the previous owner kept her in such excellent condition. The only thing she's missing is a cassette tape that came with Once Upon a December on it. She had a stand that when you rolled it, she would, you know, twirl around and she came with the hairbrush. But I love that I found her after all these years. I don't know why I've never purchased um, any of these. I do have Zar Nicholas's doll back there on the side. So I'm really, really excited to finally put them together side by side. And I'm so happy I found this doll and she really is in the greatest condition. She is beautiful. It looks like she's just been pulled out of her packaging and um, I'm gonna get a stand for her. She is gorgeous. She has a little bit of a smudge right here on her cheek, but it's gonna come right off with those magic erasers. But she's gorgeous, and I can't believe I found her, and I'm just going to treasure her always. I thought about getting one um, in box, but then I was like, no, because it'll take away the fabulousness that is this Dreamwaltz Anastasia doll. You know, I found her on a family vacation. I love that. I love that she's in such great condition, and she's super beautiful. Oh my goodness. Do you guys love Anastasia? Is it one of your favorite non-Disney films? It's one of mine. It's cute. Do you have the dolls? There were quite a few dolls. There were Dimitri. I think her in some different fashions that she wore in the movie. I think her em Empress Marie was her aunt that um, is also a doll. And then there was Dimitri, the guy she falls in love with. Um, so it was kind of a really huge deal. And um, I was just so preoccupied with Hercules that I didn't, I noticed it, but I didn't have a desire to see it or watch it, which was totally silly because you could like all things. You don't have to just like one uh, company's animation. Every animation out there needs some love. There are so many great animators, so many good animation studios that aren't Disney. <laughs> Hello, 17-year-old self. <laughs> so I'm glad now to be able to own this girl. She's beautiful, and I kind of want to add... Um, Anastasia in her peasant outfit to my collection as well. But I don't know. I kind of think I'm good with the Dream Waltz and her dad's doll because I really, really love that they made a, a doll of her dad. He looks really, really good. He looks, he kind of resembles Tsar Nicholas, um, the real life man, <laughs> ruler. And um, I really, really like it. I like the idea of uh, the part in this movie where she gets to dance with her dad, which is really, really sad because, of course, her family's gone by the time she becomes this age. And so it's kind of sad, but mostly the film is really, really good. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> the villain is really, really gross and yucky. <laughs> Rasputin is so gross. <laughs> but he is a good villain in that he is creepy and gross. Did I say that? Yeah, he's gross. So I just wanted to come on here and show you guys. Look at the big bow in the back of her dress. I love it. This doll is so dreamy. And once again, shout out to the person who gave her up so I could adopt her. And you left her in such great condition. I absolutely thank you for that because I love her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning into this Throwback Thursday. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been my, well, my share of um, 1997 from the 1997 movie Anastasia. Um, this is Dreamwalt's Anastasia from Galoob Toys. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. So remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive. And until we meet again in this fabulous Anastasia world, you guys have a magical day and I will see you tomorrow for a Friday show. Bye-bye. Me and Anastasia are gonna go waltzing. See ya. <laughs>